、ボルニューマを導入するって言った時には、またいつものごとくスタッフからは、はぁみたいに言われて、何その治療みたいな反応だったんですけれども、あれよあれよという間に月々の患者さんの数で言うと、ダントツナンバーワンなのがボルニューマです。ダンはですね、看護師さんを韓国のボルニューマを作っている会社、クラシーズ社に派遣をしまして、直接、結構1年に1回ぐらいトレーニングみたいなのを受けてですね、新しい施術の仕方というのを学んでおります。8月に韓国に行く予定です。皆さんこんにちは。今日もあなたの愛の妖精エリリンがお送りするエリリンチャンネルエリリンビーム。今回は出張エリリンチャンネルということで、私も大好きなたるみの治療機器、高周波の治療機器ボルニューマの本社である韓国クラッシーズ社に来てみました。今日は何すするんですか定期的にスタッフと一緒にトレーニングというのを我々は行っているんですけれども今日はこれからここで研修をして新しいボルニューマについての使用方法のトレーニングを受けるのに加えてクラッシーズ社にインタビューをして韓国の美容医療って今どうなってるのということを聞いてみようと思います。それではここでクラッシーズ社に来ましたのでクラッシーズ社の CMO のレイヒー・キムさんにインタビューをしてみたいと思いますよろしくお願いいたします Thank you for having me.、Um, it's a great pleasure to be on the show. My name is again Lehi Kim and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Klesis. First of all, I would like to ask you something from Japan. And what are the current trends in aesthetic medicine in Korea? So、um, I think I can summarize maybe the three、um, key trends that I see in Korea. So, first of all, I see a rise in combination treatments or what I personally like to、um, mention as stack treatments. So, it's not no longer Longer about just going to a clinic to receive one single device treatment.、Mm -hmm. But as your doctor is very familiar, you go to one visit and oftentimes you receive a combination of treatments, whether it's a device plus a skin booster type or collagen booster,、uh, it's a very popular combination, as well as device treatment stacks. So, for example, we have、uh, coined a very unique combination protocol called、uh, Volformar, which is a combination of our radio frequency. The volumer plus HIFU Ultraformer、um, device. So, in combination,、um, it's much more clinically efficacious. And so, I think those trends are on the rise.、Um, second big trend that I see is the、um, focus on preventive action. So, I have a very serious issue with my face or body that I go to a clinic, but it's more about taking preventive measures to really retain the youthfulness、mm -hmm. before serious ageness、uh, occurs. And then finally, the big Big trend that I see、um, is filler fatigue. So I think generally、uh, people are becoming tired of inject injections and putting chemicals into their, into their skin. So, non invasive alternative options that will give you, give patients a very natural, very comfortable、uh, look. And appearance, I think, is, is very high in demand. How widespread is use of Volumer in Korea? Volumer、uh, was just launched in Korea in late 2022. So it has been about two years since the launch of the product.、Mm -hmm. And、um, already we have over 500 units、mm -hmm. installed nationwide. Many of the dominant leading chain clinics in Korea carry vol Volumer. So as a result, for patients, it's very easy to access、uh, Volumer treatments. What are the popular Yeah.、Sure. Lifting and tightening treatment in Korea now. In Korea,、uh, Klesis by far has the largest install base of our HIFU device. So we have, we call it the Shrink series in Korea.、Um, outside of Korea, it's known as、um, the Ultraformer series. And we have over 5,000 units installed nationwide. And so naturally, it's the most easily accessible.、Um, you can go to pretty much any clinic、mm -hmm. and they will have a shrink device. So in terms of、uh, HIFU, Just lifting,、um, tightening devices in general. Shrink by far is, is, is the most popular in Korea. But as I mentioned before,、um, it's no longer about just receiving one single treatment, but a combination is more、um, efficacious and results in more better clinical outcomes. So it's becoming much more popular. And again, in Korea, the protocol that we introduced at Klesis,、uh, what's known as Volink in Korea, outside of Korea, Volformer, again, is a combination of HIFU and RF technology. It's very Popular. ボルフォーマーがね
きているということで私たちの名付けたのはボルハイフです。This is a little bit difficult question for you, but how popular are o l i g i o and Bologna in Korea considering that o l i g i o is often seen in, on Japanese market、yes. and social media is a lot and、uh, people are asking me、uh, which is better、yeah. or what do you think about o l i g i o so I would like to know your opinion sure, sure. in Korea. Sure. So、um, as you know it's, it's well known o l i g i o was very early、um, into the market and so they did have that you know early advantage of entering the market whereas relatively volume Was a relatively late entrant, and as I mentioned before, just introduced the product in Korea in late 2022. So, relatively speaking,、um, the time of presence in the market is, there is a difference, but I do want to say that just clinically,、um, there are differences in the device、uh, mm-hmm. in both devices, obviously. So,、um, not to get too technical, but you know, volume or has its competitive advantages. So, in terms of technology, although we are both、uh, radio frequency,、uh, monopole. In terms of the technological details that we have built into Volumer, including the water cooling system in the handpiece, the hidden edge design, the tilted tips. So, those things, in the end, to the end patient, result in safer and more comfortable treatments. And、um, it also、uh, reduces the,、uh, the pain level. So,、hmm. Volumer, you know, I can confidently say it has very minimal to almost no pain at all and requires no anesthesia. Whereas I think a lot of the competing products out there, because they use,、uh, for example, gas cooling、hmm. compared to our water cooling system, it could be more painful. Um, to the patient, and also the efficacy, the, the energy delivery cannot、um, sometimes not be very consistent. So, I think there is、um, a lot of competitive advantages that Volumer has,、mm. and as a result, is、um, again delivering very proven, consistent clinical outcomes that I think perhaps our competing、um, competitors in the market、mm-hmm. perhaps、um, do not. And I think、um, yeah. Water cooling system is very useful because、yes. I don't, I'm not sure how to call it, but moving treatment、yes. is、uh, only v o l u n u m a h a s it, I, I believe. Correct.、Yeah. Yes, yes. That is one of, yes, thank you for raising that, <laughs> Dr. Uri. So, that is another、uh, very key competitive advantage that we have that, as you mentioned, is not seen、um, in other competing devices.、Mm-hmm. What are the most popular treatments in Korea now? I mean, it's in aesthetic clinics. I think、um, in Korea, Generally,、uh, the number one, when we do research, the number one treatment、um, is, is, is skin tightening and skin lifting. It's、um, uh, followed by the removal of、uh, pigmentation lesions. And I think that's very similar because、um, Japan patients and Korean patients are similar skin types. I think the trend is similar. But to address those needs, again, skin tightening and lifting、um, treatments, again, any form of combination or stack treatments to address skin tightening and、um, lifting、um, needs. Is the most popular、um, in Korea、mm-hmm. today. What differences does glasses seem between the aesthetic medicine market in Korea and、mm-hmm. Japan?、Mm-hmm. Again, I talked about you know, Japan、uh, patients and Korean patients having similar skin types. So I think the skin needs that we have, skincare needs that we have, are very similar. But I think, in terms of the difference, what I see in Korea, again, because of the high、um, accessibility, so barrier to receiving treatments in Korea is very low. It's becoming lower and lower、mm-hmm. because there's a lot of wide access. And so, what that does is it, it increases the demand in the market by patients. Coming to the clinics and wanting treatments. And then for the clinic, also generating greater、um, increase in demand of new technology and new devices. So it's a very、uh, positive cycle that we see. And as a result of all of this,、um, we see the life cycle of aesthetic devices in clinics becoming shorter and shorter. Where today I see an average of Korean clinics generally, I mean, it varies by clinic to clinic, but generally it's somewhere around like three years. And then after three years, Of intensive use of a new technology and device, doctors want something new, constantly wanting something new, as well as the patients also coming to ask for new, what, what's the latest new thing? So,、um, as a result of that、um, very positive, healthy increase in market demand, what we're seeing also is a shift in the customers'、um, age groups. So, if 30s and 40s is our primary age target, we're seeing a gradual lift in the、uh, customers that are coming because, again, of the Easy a 
access. And so we are now seeing um, patients in their 20s coming in, again, not because they have a serious you know, skin issue, but to maintain. So as a preventive measure, they come regularly just to check in and also just want to maintain that, that youthfulness and ensure you know, possible delay in, in signs of aging. So I think that's one difference that perhaps in Japan I see is a little bit different. In Japan, the doctors are much more um, loyal, I think, and um, consistent in terms of using the device that they have in their clinics. And so when I look at the average life cycle of a medical aesthetic device that a doctor generally in Japan carries, the life cycle is much longer. So it's about seven years plus and when they um, incorporate a new device they use it pretty um, consistently and intensively and not so much as um, a mixture as I talked about the combined treatment as much I know the combination treatment and stack treatments in Japan also is increasing but when I compare the two countries relatively is a little bit less and then also in terms of the customer age groups when we talk about primary age groups in Korea being 30 40 rising to the 20s when when we do market research in Japan, it's actually 40s and 50s are the primary age group of patients that come for medical aesthetic treatments. And we see that being lifted as patients in their 30s coming in, but we don't necessarily see a, a, a lift in age group to their 20s as much as in, in, in Korea. But I think one uniqueness in Japan that I see is the emergence of uh, men. Mm. and um, the demand of medical aesthetics treatments um, that the men customers have. And so I think um, Gorilla uh, Clinic, the Gorilla chain, you know, very focused only on men. That's very unique to Japan. So I think in Korea, although we have a lot of uh, growth in, in medical aesthetics, we don't have that kind of uh, men exclusive medical aesthetic treatment uh, centers. So I think that's also something that I see that is very unique to Japan. And as a result overall, because of uh, these differences that we see in Korea having more, it's a more dynamic industry. We see that also reflected in the overall energy-based device market size, where Korea has proven to be a larger um, EV market size than Japan. さて、皆さん、今日はですね、このクラシーズ社でボルニューマーをはじめとした欧州派のデバイスについての お疲れ様でした。お疲れ様でした。あ、高橋さん、高橋さん。はい。今回は一緒に来てボルニューマの施術の仕方アップデート、トレーニング受けたじゃないですか。どうでしたか?そうですね。今までの学びも良かったんですけれども、今回ここに来てより学びが深くな